Sure, Durant Brooks, who I thought had one of the best punts I've ever seen today, out of his own end zone for 63 yards. And exactly what Paul talked about. Catch it, look it into your hands, get it on your foot, and get it the heck down to the other end of the field somewhere, where Rashawn Jones is back waiting. And he got it away, and he got a beauty again. Jones dropped the ball. Georgia Tech's got it, and they've got the ball game. What a kick. What You'll a never kick. see a happier putter in your life. <laughs> he did all things perfect, Brad. He got the ball in his hands and got it off as quick as he possibly could. And that's all the only thing he thought about. The only thing left now for Georgia Tech is to take a knee. They won't have to. It's over. Now they'll go sing in front of the student section, the Ramblin' Wreck. They'll meet Mama and Daddy in the tunnel, and they'll go to the homecoming dance because they've won their 11th straight homecoming game, and they did it against a good football team. 30-23 is the final. Georgia Tech goes to 6-2, and two, Miami Falls to 5-3. and three. Today's Chevrolet players of the game, the two running backs who wanted to have big games and both did. Javaris James, 113 yards to Shard Choice had the winning touchdown that ended this one. A thousand dollar contribution to each university's general scholarship fund in those gentlemen's name. Let's go down to the field. Here's Bonnie. Reggie went to Shard Choice, scored that final touchdown. You looked at me and you said game over with a huge smile on your face. Tell me about the emotion you have right now. Um, just glad to get out of this stadium. Our own stadium at that with a win. Uh, we had a lot of mistakes. I had a lot of mistakes personally, but uh, the team persevered and we still came out with a victory. In the Clemson game, you got hurt pretty early. It may have affected you. What was your mindset going into this one? I'm always hurt. I always banged up, man. I just got to uh, play through it. It's a long season. You know you're going to get bruised a lot, but uh, like I said, you just got to play through it. Everybody's hurt. Reggie, thanks. Brad? There's what they're doing, singing in front of the student section. 30-23, a big, big win for Georgia Tech. Don't forget, coming up tomorrow, we'll have live final round coverage of the Chrysler Championship at 2 Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific, right here on ABC. 30 to 23. For Bob Greasy, Paul McGuire, and Bonnie Bernstein, I'm Brad Nessler. Don't forget, stick around. We'll have an update on the Oregon State-USC game on the post-game report in New York with John, Craig, and Doug in a moment.